Hey everybody, welcome back to Covers and Commentary, and welcome back to another episode of Drummer Reacts, and we are back watching another Drumio video. This time it's another two video from Sleep Token playing Dark Signs. Now, this one's interesting because with Dark Signs, I know this has electric drums in it, but as we've seen from other performances, uh, two actually has that little MIDI kit, or yeah, synth drum kit, next to his main kit, and plays those tracks live, which is pretty wild. And so I wanna actually see, we've seen a little bit of it with other songs, but I wanna see it in depth because I think most of this song is like synth drums or like an E beat with a couple cymbal hit. I don't know, we'll see. Let's dive in and actually have a listen and uh, hopefully see exactly what I thought we were gonna see. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know the beat. Pretty easy. What's he doing? Where I was raised, the oh. No Have I been doing that wrong the whole time that I've been a drummer? So we saw this with Ellis Deportio Sibriano doing, um, so you'll see he flips the stick up like that to interesting because so so when you and I've, I finally put a pair of drumsticks on my desk so I can demonstrate stuff I didn't expect to be using it this soon like so they're flipping it down and hitting it with the bottom with the bottom of the the drumstick like ding like that I would always slide it down and do that and then I guess that would be easier to flip it down and hit it with the edge like that because you're able to then just flip it back to a correct holding position instead of sliding it down, ting, ting, and then flip it back or... Yeah, okay, you know what? I've been doing it wrong, I guess. <laughs> huh. Now that I actually am holding this in my hand to try it myself, that makes so much more sense than sliding it down using the thick side and then... Huh. Well, it makes sense then. Hmm. Yeah, because I bet you he just ding. And he can just, yep, rotate the hand and bring it right back into grip. Wow. Already learning something now. I've been playing for so long, that's really sad. Yep. Right. Most days reach for safety. Oh, that was a solid hit. Oh, we're getting new. Yep. Remain calm, forget oh. When we met, I can see dark hmm. Alarm bell. Well, I know it gets more complex than this, but this is. He's, so this is interesting. So he switches to the beat. So you got the kick drum, which is electric. So something he's doing there to, I guess, kind of fill in the space in his head while he's playing, or I don't know if it's to fill in the space in his head or to, to help with the separation when you're going, but like you can tell the beat should in your head if you're thinking. Do, 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 do. So you would think that that would have like a snare hit, but it doesn't. But what he's doing is actually, I don't need to grab my drumsticks for this, but he's like hitting his leg with the drumstick where a snare hit would be and just doing the off time do, 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 kind of bass hit with the other stick. I don't know if he's doing that to just, like I said, keep the the time, because I don't think this guy needs help with keeping track of of the tempo, but like, I guess maybe he's doing that to fill in the blanks, but still leave it open. I don't know. That's yeah. Or yeah. That is, huh? 
Yeah, he's hitting his leg. <laughs> That's cool. I love the combination of traditional kits with this electric kit. And you can tell he's he's changing the, I'm not sure if it's the compression or the filter that's over it. That's what he's doing when he's turning that little dial as you go in. You can hear it go and get more harsh. So have a listen. Yeah. Wow. So neat. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what I think it was? Yeah. Okay. So you have this sound like do do kind of thing that he's doing, but those those really quick. I think there were sixteenths notes up there that he's got that programmed on a single pad so he can hit it another benefit to having something like a beat pad here or a, or a, a drum pad is you can program it to be more than one note so he can do 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 da 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 while he's doing that and then da, 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 and he can basically do that whole roll with one hit because it's programmed for that and then move back down to keep playing that's kind of cool it's going to be hard to f watch here i'm going to zoom this in to show you but watch he hits when he hits that top when he when he hits that top one there. That's when you see. So he's not actually rolling. It doesn't sound like. Huh. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. That's so wild. This is wild to think, like, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, the mix of acoustic and electric is great. Also, just from, from a personal anecdote here, playing like this, like twisted over like this, you gotta have a really comfy drum seat to pull that off. I mean, it looks like he's got a pretty comfortable drum seat, but man, like, I've done stuff where, like, I'll run, um, there was a session I had to do, and they had, like, an entire rail with more drums up on the side, and I, I was playing some of them for a breakdown across, because it was, like, a very sort of, um, what's the best term? I'm not sure it was like do 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 kind of thing. I don't know what the vibe was supposed to be exactly, but I went for kind of a tribal sound and it was all over here and I was using this really old drum kit that the studio had had for like <laughs> probably 20 years and it really hurt my back. So like yeah, playing twisted over like that is uh it's not a, not something a lot of people think about and really if you've got a, a good drum seat it's not a big problem, but yeah, this whole song has been twisted. <laughs> I'm pausing again and I apologize, but so remember early on, I'm going to skip back here. Remember early on when I said, nope, that's not the one. When he was hitting his leg, this. Nope. Ah, uh, whatever. You remember he was hitting his leg earlier. I'll put it in the edit. And he was hitting his leg earlier. That beat that he was following is what we have here. This. Oh, so the first time they, the first time he did that, he was doing the same timing, the same hits as he's doing now, but leaving out the snare to give that space, that do do do. And like not having the snare. Now he's hitting the snare. That's actually, that's actually a pretty good practice. Oh. 
Come on! Yep. Oh. That's the one thing I remember the first time I heard this song was the how off time, like not off time, but how he it felt like as he's playing, he's deliberately dragging. I want to get back to that lead in right here. I want to hear that whole lead in again. See how he's like dragging behind? Well, that now, of course, I'm getting the points where he's nailing it, but. It's crazy. And then right back to that drum pad. So, I'm gonna go back here real quick. I wanna find that spot I was talking about where he was hitting his leg. Oh, right, I was, I was way behind. This part. Boom, see he's hitting his leg here. So he's hitting his leg there. So that makes sense. And then we get to this next part here. get to that drop see now same pattern on the left hand but the right hand is now doing the same pattern on a drum pad instead of doing it on his leg I like it it's actually I never thought about doing it that way I would always just like if I had to play something where whenever I would play something where like I'm doing it where it's like a reduced amount of detail or a reduced amount of hits in the in the play i would just practice it with the one hand but like taking your hand off of whatever drum is going to be hit with this stick but still playing the same pattern because it's going to repeat later with more in it actually makes a lot of sense hmm and we're just going to listen to this drum bit one last time because it's so good Fast fill. That's so good. See, this is the one thing I love about doing this channel with you all is because I can share what I've already sort of learned myself and kind of break down things that I recognize from the years that I've played. But then I'm also able to watch something like this and see something that I, I recognize and understand but don't know why they're doing it. And then once I understand why they're doing it, it it's something now that I want to actually try. Is like when I've played songs in the past where I, I'm not using one of my hands, but later on I will be, but using the same beat. I kind of want to try that out now because it seems pretty good because you basically have the pattern the same both times. You just move your hand from not playing the drum and playing your leg to playing the drum. That's pretty interesting. I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments what you all think about that. Is that something that you think would be helpful if you're starting uh, drumming or you've played drums for years or whatever the case may be? Let me know if you all think that would be useful or not. I think it could be, and I kind of want to try it out now. But either way, thank you all so much for watching this video. Of course, if you want to go and watch the original video without me talking, go ahead and check out the links down in the description, and I have the link to Drumio themselves, because of course, me doing this would not be possible without them having posted the content themselves, and I love breaking these down for you all and helping you understand what is happening on the performances. And if you, if you enjoy that, if you like that, if you enjoy that, maybe leave this video a like, and if you want to see more videos like it, definitely go ahead and subscribe. I've got a video planned soon. I'm going to be doing a drum cover uh, showing that you don't need a full drum kit to do a drum cover. So, uh, 
We'll be doing that at some point here soon. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks for being here, and have a good one.